here today, and I want to show y'all how to make my anabolic fruity waffle. Now, I'm going to show y'all what you're going to need and how much ingredients you're going to need to put in a bowl like this. Now, first ingredient we're going to use is any, um, any pancake or waffle mix will do. You're going to need one third of a cup. One third of a cup of this stuff right here. And you're going to add it to your, your bowl. <clears throat> and you're going to need a, 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 a protein, a whey protein of your choice. I'm using um, BPN whey protein blueberry muffin. Right there. Just got a 25 grams of protein and 27 servings. Can't beat that. And it's got, oh, three, three, two grams of carbs and only two grams of sugar. So, this is definitely perfect for me. Since, I, since I'm a type 1 diabetic, I can have this stuff with them, what I'm happy about. And then, and the next thing you're going to need is one third of a cup of light and fit with yogurt and I'm using the blueberry flavor and then you're gonna need one egg and you're gonna separate the yolk and you're gonna throw the yolk out and you're gonna just only use the egg whites so just one egg <clears throat> so and then of course you're more than welcome to add some uh, sugar free um, syrup if you want on the top when it's done and but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up some fresh strawberries. I'm gonna put that on top of mine to give it some more fruity flavor. So, and then you're gonna need a uh, waffle iron of your choice. So I'm using this one right here. Um, but don't panic if you don't have a waffle maker. You can always make pancakes instead, and then and they will be definitely delicious too. Of course. So. We're going to start out with the first ingredient we're going to do is <clears throat> one full scoop of the blueberry muffin. So you're going to go in here and get out one full scoop. Uh, one full scoop. One level scoop like that. So that's one level scoop. And then you're going to do a third of a cup of your pancake or waffle mix. So I'm trying to get all the protein I can get in this recipe. Cause I was kind of low on protein today for lunch. So I thought I would get my protein up a little bit. Cause all I had today was a little pizza fried chicken that I made at work today for the residents. So they were very happy about fried chicken today. So. So you're gonna do about one, one, two. It's about all you're gonna need. Third of a cup of that. So that's perfect. Now you're gonna take your your yogurt and open it, and then you're gonna add it to this. So we're going to add it to here. So actually, it turns out that this is a third of a cup of yogurt right here. So, pretty cool. So, so actually, this, this whole container is only a third of a cup. Pretty cool, ain't it? Never, I never realized that, so now I know that it's a third of a cup. So it's right in here. So get it all out as good as you can. There we go. It's all in here. And then we're gonna 
go ahead and do the separation of the egg. So, um, we're going to separate this whole egg. So, we're going to separate it. So, there we go. We got it all separated. And then we're going to take it and we're going to mix it up. Get that all incorporated. Get it all mixed in. Get it all mixed and incorporated. Um, you don't want to over mix it, so this is pretty good like that. And um, you can um, you you could probably get about you're gonna get about two waffles out of this. So let's. And so that it's gonna be perfect. So now all you gotta do is you're gonna plug in your waffle maker, of course. Now, um, when you use your waffle maker, um, I recommend using the Pam spray. That tends to work perfectly. I've tried the olive oil spray, the plain olive oil spray, and my stuff always sticks. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go back to what I go back to using Pam again. And I'll tell you what, that's the best thing. That's the best thing so far, and it works better too, actually. I prefer that. So, so we're gonna get all that nice and um heated up. So um, but what I want to say is, uh, feel free to take this recipe and add whatever you want to it. Feel free to add um extra stuff to it. Feel free to add like a banana to it if you wanted to, or you can add some uh a fresh apple to it. Dice it up and add it to it. That would be good too. Like. Take your fresh apple, and what you can do is you can you can um, cook it first if you want to, like lightly cook it in a soft, lightly cook it in a pan with a tablespoon of butter if you want, and get it nice and soft. Then you can add it to your waffle batter if you wanted to, or if you or if you that or if you don't want to do that, you can just throw it, go ahead and throw the apple in it and go for it that way too. What I prefer, or you can add a. Uh, Sugar free chocolate chip to this if you wanted to. Or you could add a uh, strawberry right run into the batter if you wanted to. Or you could switch it up and use a different yogurt. I could use a different flavor yogurt if you wanted to. Like today I'm using blueberry, but you could use uh, a peach flavor, you could use a strawberry flavor, you could use a vanilla, plain vanilla flavor. Whatever, whatever y'all want to do, you can use. So. So, um, this is gonna be real, real, real good. Nice, real, real good. It's okay for it to be kind of thick because it's gonna. I'd rather have it a little bit thick than have it too runny and then it goes all over your waffle iron. So, my waffle iron is nice and hot, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and spray it real good. It's nice and piping hot. That's what we want a nice good spray. And then we're gonna. All sprayed up, and then I'm gonna see how much waffle batter I can get. So I'm gonna do probably about oh. yeah, let's see. actually, um, I can get about two out of this, so I'm gonna do two. So I'm gonna go ahead and just um, press it down, and we're gonna wait. But right now, what I thought we would do is go get ourselves a plate and get ready because it won't take long for these to cook. So it's going to take real, real, real good. So right here, oh, let me grab a nice, let me grab us a plate. And one more. I'm using a red plate today, because that's what I have, a red plate, you know. And, um, so I thought for right now, 
We can cut up a few strawberries. And I think that's what I'm gonna do for me. So, and uh, and if you um, if y'all are new, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to. It will look, and uh, I'll always post new stuff. So be on the lookout for another video coming. And the next video I'm gonna do a uh. I think I'm gonna do like an apple pie and a ball of waffle. So please stay tuned for that one. It's gonna be real, real, real good. So let's um let's get a few strawberries out. I don't think they're good, y'all. They're nice and big. Wow, y'all, these are good. So I think I think I'm gonna need about three because they're pretty hefty. So these will be good. So. So let's check out our waffle. Ooh, nice. Um, these are perfect. They're not like um the perfect size anyway. So these are the sizes that I'm I'm making, but you can make them however. Either what the size of it looks like. Pretty good size, you know what I mean? So now let's go on to making the second one.